All right, welcome back. I think we're on video number four. I should probably stop counting at this point. <laughs> this is all part of our series, our video tutorial series, getting started with video, how to create, optimize, and repurpose your video content. So we are learning how to create, um, create our video, upload it correctly, optimize it, and then we're gonna turn them into blog posts. So we uh, just finished, what was our last one on? Uh, creating the thumbnail, creating the custom thumbnail. And I showed you several items for that. And we are gonna use that same thumbnail on our blog post. So we download that so that we can also use it on our blog post, okay? Now we are going to do our cards and our end screens, okay? So click over here on cards. And what you'll see is, that our um, that we're able to add a card. Now, if you have the TubeBuddy extension, you can actually create a card and save it as a template or create multiple cards and save them as a template. So let me show you what we're able to do with our cards. Okay, so our first one, let, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here to add a card, okay? Now, um, here we're able to add a video or a playlist. We can uh, promote another video channel, another YouTube channel if we have multiple channels. We can promote a donation for a nonprofit. We can create a poll and we can add a link to an approved website. Now, in order for this to be set up, which I have not done this on this particular channel, um, this changed recently. You have to have your channel set up for monetization. So in order to have that link enabled, I clicked that there, you need to set up, it's called the YouTube Partner Program. Okay, and that determines validity, but that also you have to opt into allowing it to be monetized, but then you can turn all that monetization off. Okay, we'll do this in another video separately. I think I may already have one, um, but you, you got to set that all up first. In fact, you know what? Let me see um, really quick. Let's just look at it's under channel and it is under monetization okay oh this account's already in review so i did already set it up so we're just not there yet okay all right so um you're going to go in to um you're going to go in and set that up if you want to be able to include that link at the end but i'm not going to focus on that in this video okay i do suggest it like i said mine is still pending i don't know why it's still pending um okay so let's go ahead and add a card so we're going to go to add card and i'm going to add a video or a playlist okay so what i'm able to do is i can click create and i can look at videos that i recently loaded i can look at playlists other playlists that the customer might be interested in or i can type in here the youtube video or playlist url if it's not showing up in this box okay and so let's just say i'm going to go ahead and add um, uh, a playlist as a suge suggestion. I can click there and then here I can customize the teaser message and say must watch or something like that. Um, teaser text, um, latest updates, killer. It'll cut you off. It won't let you type too many, too much there. Okay. And then I could click create card and it'll insert it right into here. Okay. And then um, what'll happen is when you play the video, let's put that at like the, um, you can drag this and put it at whatever second mark you want it to show up, okay? So this one's gonna show up pretty quick, quickly. Watch what happens. So we're gonna click play. And then in a moment, we're gonna see our little card be suggested. Reading video. Now, in uh two from 2007 to about 2010 there it is see it up Actually, there I think it's probably more see it up there latest updates killer so that's your teaser text okay so see where we put that here is right here latest updates killer whatever whatever we're putting in there must watch updates for your WordPress. Okay, see, now it's over, it's too much. So it's it's a, like a little call to action right there, okay? Now, 
if you already have, once you set up your cards, I think we can do, let's see, I can do one. I'm going to put a video or playlist here. Let me just pick something randomly so I can show you this. I think we can only put four. Add a card, video or playlist, let's add another one, create card. So these will show up. And you know, this is really important for increasing that watch time. And remember what I said, increasing watch time can increase your rankings for that video. And that's gonna matter. Let me see if I can do one more. Oh, it did let me. So there's five. Well, let me do any more. Okay, so that's the limit. Okay, so I would spread these out to wherever you think you're going to want to put that call to action. Okay, now in my case, I'm really doing this live, so I don't want to use those examples. I'm going to pull in a template. So I'm going to click apply template and I have something called a 10 minute video um, card or I can go down here and find one of my others, my agent success series or something else. Okay, whatever I want to use there. That one's only got four. So I'm going to do my. Uh, 10 minute with playlists and I'm going to click apply. Okay. Oops. I didn't remove the others first. Remove the others first. Now it'll add. Oh, come on. Let me just take these out. So what happens is if you don't remove, is it not removing them? So, oh, clear all. Well, there's an easier way to do it. Hello. There we go. Much better. Got to be smarter than the than your process. There's some be as smart as your process. Okay, apply template. Now we'll do 10 minute video. Apply. Uh, reload the page. That's fine. This is why I published it first because I don't want my mistake asked, showing up anywhere. Uh, okay. So move those around based on the length of my video. Where do you want your first calls to action? I put more towards the front because you're going to lose them after whatever your average is, five minutes, like whatever. They're going to start saving it, bookmarking it to come back later, and then they don't. <laughs> kind of customary stuff with video. So that's why we always put the meat in the front. Okay. So we'll do something like this. Now, once this is done, now it'll save. And then we can go to, there's no save button on this screen. It saves for you automatically. Now we're going to go to end screens and annotations. So your end screen is what shows up at the very end of the video. Okay. Again, if you're using TubeBuddy, you can import from a previous video. If you don't, now here's what you're able to do. Go to add element. Now at the end of your screen, you can add a link to your website. If your channel is approved, you can add another channel. If you want them to go over to another YouTube channel, you can add the subscribe button. You can add a video or playlist and you can add a couple things. So I'm going to add a subscribe button every single time. Okay. Now you can drag this around. Where do you want that little subscribe button to go? Now add element and we can add another element, which is a channel or a video or a playlist. So I'm going to, you can choose a most recent upload. You can choose a video or a playlist that would be appropriate to this video, or you can choose best for viewer and allow YouTube to select it from your channel. It will select from your channel. It's not, not, this is not where it suggests somebody else's channel. Okay. Put that up there wherever you want it. And then you can click save. So now you've got all of these calls to action showing up throughout the video in case the person gets bored or it's not what they're looking for, be really strategic and purposeful about which cards you have added there so that you'll get more watch time. Because if somebody leaves that video and goes to another video, it's very good for you. That is, that's more watch time. It's a positive signal. You want that. So throughout your video, you're talking about the other videos in your series, but you're also calling attention to those videos in the series by adding them to your cards or by putting them on your end screen, right? So you're being very strategic about that. And so at this point, let me double check this. Oh, we didn't do captions. So I'm going to scroll back. So on the uh, next video in this series, I'm going to show you how to edit the captions. This is very important. You want to be doing this with the captions. And the really cool thing is once you edit the captions, 
you're going to be able to download them so that you can upload them on your videos on Facebook or in other channels, uh, which is incredibly powerful. So I will end this video here. And in the next video, we will learn how to edit our captions.